So we've talked about the idol of aesthetics and kind of uh, how you want to come off, how you want to show yourself to be, the image, the look, all that. We talked about the idol of comfort. Where do you go for uh, actual pleasure? Tonight is the idol of hustle. And where do you go for your reward? Gathered this group together because all working kind of different areas, but also all pretty high achieving people, folks, and just trying to find the balance in that, right? Between your gifting and it not becoming the thing. Like, you know what I mean? So just, that would probably be my first question. How do you stop your gift from becoming just your hustle? Like, yes, use it to the max, like bless it, steward it well, but how do you stop it from becoming just like a check or a thing that you do? Hmm. I feel like I've honestly just seasonally been thinking about this a lot because I would say the lane that I'm in, although it's a skill set working in the church and doing what I do right now, doesn't necessarily match my gifting. And so I think when we talk about this like topic, a lot of the time you kind of think of it backwards of like, you think of people who are directly in their lane using their gifting. Yeah. What does it look like to stop that from the last like couple years of my life? I feel like it's almost been reversed of what do you do how do you not make your your gifting your hustle when you're not even using it the way mm. that you maybe think you want to or need yeah. to be? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I haven't like perfected that, but I know that a lot of what I've felt in this season has been instead of focusing on what I think I need to be doing or uh, where, I, where the lane that I should be in, mm -hmm. I God has brought me back to this concept of uh, like take all that away what does it look like to be faithful right yeah. now and I know that oh, maybe on. is great like a oh like a spiritual answer sure maybe not practical but I, I've just tried in this season at least to measure my hustle or my gifting or what I'm doing by just trying to be faithful yeah. with where I'm planted yeah and, and I that's think as practical as you want it to be right yeah. I think it can be as spiritual as you want it to be or as practical no for you sure know what I mean yeah no you mm -hmm. you kind of have to pull uh, some of the intricacies away from it and just almost like go day by day and be like, well, if yeah. I, I don't know what's going to happen in a year, how do I be faithful today? And yeah. I think that applies both ways, whether you feel like you're in the lane that you're supposed to be mm -hmm. or not. If you can take that as the litmus, take that away and just ask the question, how am I being faithful right now? Yeah. Uh, I think that's a better hustle to have than trying to jump up in uh, using your gifting the way that you need to be using it. Yeah. So yeah. it's great. No, I think that's good because how you practice, like practice how you play, mm -hmm. like when you're mm -hmm. in the grind where you want to be, right. how mm -hmm. are you going to be then? Are you going to mm -hmm. be conflating your purpose, like with your position then? But if you mm -hmm. learn how to not do that now and yeah. how to be faithful and how to do what the text says, like work as if you're working for the Lord, yeah. regardless mm -hmm. of where you're mm -hmm. at. If you yeah. do it now, then it won't be, you won't get tripped up later when right. you're where you want to be. Right. Yeah. And I love that you just brought that verse up because I was just about to say like, Remember who you're doing it for. Right. Um, it can be so easy to kind of get caught up in the grind mm -hmm. and in the hustle, but s taking stock of, okay, I exist to bring glory to God, mm -hmm. yep. and somehow God has blessed me with a gift, mm -hmm. and so I just want to give it back to Him. Right. Mm -hmm. And also, like, I want people to see yep. what I've seen and yep. experience what I've experienced. Yep. And so I think when you look at it through that lens, it becomes, it becomes weighty, but in a reverent way mm -hmm. and not just yeah. a yeah. hustle, yeah. you know? Yeah. How do you balance in that all the work is if you're working for the Lord. So we want to do things in excellence is the other side of that. How do you balance the excellence in what you do with still walking with a spirit of humility and how you carry yourself? Mm -hmm. Um, and not in a cliche way. Right. <laughs> right. It's not like, you know, you just, you just killed that. Right. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, oh that was, no, that was just. That was Glory to God, I guess. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> how, this whole thing. You know what I mean? I'm like, where does the actual, but in your mind, you're like, yeah, I know I just killed that. Right. Right. How do you, right. I don't know, work through that mm -hmm. in, in your, your callings, your gifts. No, for sure. That. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like, Again, it might feel like over spiritualization, but I think, and it's, I think it's varying in difficulty depending on what your gifting is. Like mm -hmm. I know for you, someone who your gifting is so direct and it's spotlight heavy, and that you feel that sometimes, and I think we all do in different seasons. Uh, just remembering that, like, 
a gift is just that it's a gift mm, and yeah. like That's if great. you keep yeah, yourself centered right. in the fact that like i didn't obtain this yep. like as hard as we work to yeah. hone in on our crafts and make them better ultimately i would not be anywhere unless god gifted me this ability right. to do something yeah yes. and if you keep your mind there then right. i think it's a little it's more difficult to uh, think highly of yourself in yeah. a negative way yep. when you when you know that you have nothing to do with the fact that you're even where you're at or mm -hmm. able to do what you're doing. Right, and to piggyback off of that, I think um, I've really had to come to terms with like, at any moment, that gift could be gone. Mm -hmm. um, we are so out of control That's yeah. good. Um, that it's not even mine anyway. That's so. Right. Right. I have to hold it loosely and steward it well. Mm -hmm. But like you're saying, like, remember that God gave it to me right. and God gave it us gifts. Yeah. And yeah. That was in his kindness. And so yeah. when you are thinking through that lens, you are not in that equation in any right. way. Mm -hmm. You are just a vessel. Yeah, right. yeah. absolutely. Last question. Uh, two more. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I'll allow it. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. We're starting. Also, there's no music in here. I mean, Matt can. The room is filling. Yep. I know. Can we, we tell them that the vibes are off. Music? <laughs> the vibes are off. Off. As we people are just coming just in. looking at us. <laughs> I just going to. They think can't we're hear about right? <laughs> We're about to perform. They're like, is this the opener? Get up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm acting like they can't see me right now, so. Right. <laughs> anyway. I'm right. immediately uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, just okay. Keep facing this way. Um. Thank SOS. you. Matt's working on the music. Um. <laughs> Gather ourselves. Oh, yes. Gather yeah. ourselves. Recollect. Okay. Bless me. Right. That people just walked in silence and we're just sitting here and they can't hear us. They can't right? hear a word. They can't hear Cannot a word. Well, later. They're just looking. But not we right can now. Them. We can hear them. We can hear them. Very much so. Yes. I think of the giftings yes. in the hustle, all that, I think a lot of it you could tie back to um, kind of this idea I wonder, and you tell me if you agree, disagree, I'm open. Uh, if you feel like, I've been thinking that maybe a lot of the hustle culture that we see is derived from a lack of contentment with what we have. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. why? when I get down to why I'm searching out, why I'm hustling, why I'm going so hard, is it what it should be that I'm just doing everything unto the Lord? Or is there a part that's like, if this is all there is... Right. I don't think that's enough, right. mm -hmm. even right. if I have Jesus. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's when you know it's a idol. idol. Yeah. 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 Right. No, I think I think it is, and it makes me think of the woman at the well. Like mm. she was going to get water, and water isn't bad. Mm -hmm. Water mm -hmm. will quench your thirst, wow. but you will get thirsty again. Yeah. Wow. Right. And so it's just that, right. like that idea that as we continue to attain, like different level, different level, like. It will satisfy you for a moment, but you have to keep going. And yeah, I don't yeah. want to live off of something that I have to continuously strive yeah. for. Yeah. Yeah. And letting 100%. us work from a place of I'm content, I'm satisfied, and truly in Christ. Like, right. that's what he met her there and said, I'm the water yeah. that's eternal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, when you don't have to be thirsty, then, like, you're just going yes. out of an overflow. Right, right. And I right. think but it's I normal for to feel that, like, I don't feel quite right and I want to fill it with something yeah. mm -hmm. and just being aware of that I think yeah. is yeah. important. I feel like we also like I love the the metaphor that's set up there because they're talking about different things eternal like Jesus isn't actually like you don't need to drink water anymore right. Right? it's a metaphor exactly. but I feel like even in my experience and I'm sure we've all come to this point and a lot of people would see this probably too like even once you you know you strive for something for a long time and then it's crazy. Every time I've ever gotten somewhere that I thought I wanted to go, yeah, you get there and you realize right. that is not mm. that yeah. must have not been what I actually wanted because mm. it's yeah. not I'm not satisfied wow. the way that I thought. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so I think a lot of that is a misconstrued uh, notion of like mm -hmm. what we're actually after. And I think the earlier that like I wish when I was like 19, 20, I could understand better, and I still need to understand it better now, that like the only thing that will satisfy me is contentment in the Lord. Yeah. Not like yep. getting to a place where I'm content in the lane that I'm in or with mm. my job or where mm -hmm. I'm going. Mm -hmm. Like if I got every one of my dreams checked off right now mm -hmm. and didn't have that, I would still arrive at a place of being like, there's still something missing. Yep. Yeah. And I feel like we just go around and around in circles, checking boxes 
and it takes us a lot too long to figure out yeah. that's not what my soul is actually yeah. longing for. Mm -hmm. No, it's great. It's great. Last question, and this is more like a answer this like you're giving a tip or something like that, right? Like, okay. <laughs> I, I just think one of the biggest combatants to hustle culture that the Lord gives us already is just to Sabbath, mm -hmm. to rest, yeah. to literally stop work, to mm -hmm. stop hustling. Mm -hmm. What would just be some practical ways that you are inserting Sabbath in your life personally? Some tips you would give to the young adult listen in on how they can start implementing a rhythm and a lifestyle of Sabbath in their life. I think, and I've, I don't remember where I've heard this, but like I hear Sabbath and I hear rest and I'm like, great. So I just, you know, sit on the couch all day <laughs> and turn on Netflix, yeah, see what's watch up. The office. But <laughs> my favorite show, my favorite show. So I said it. Um, it's but, not that good, but okay, we're not going to go there. Not now. You're literally in the mon minority of all humans <laughs> right, that exactly. ever exist. Can't just make so. statements. Right, 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 right. Please continue. Anyway, um, I have found that for me, finding little things that I love to do that I don't necessarily have time for right now mm. and doing that when I'm Sabbathing is so fulfilling to me. So like, I love to cook. I don't do it often, but when I'm resting and if I'm intentionally trying to Sabbath, yeah. I, I'll cook and mm -hmm. I'll find a really good recipe that I like yeah. and take my time and go to the That's store. Great. And so That's I awesome. think before when I would hear, Oh, you have to rest. I, I was like, well, I don't really want to sit on the couch all day or mm -hmm. like, I've been here for five hours now, what? But I think finding things that you love to do, maybe little hobbies, um, and really taking the time to kind of explore that, for me, at least. That's great. That's so That's great. good. Mm -hmm. I think for me, um, I truly, a part, not like all of my Sabbath is super spiritual, but a part of Sabbath for me is treating God like someone that I love mm. in terms of like, I'm going to love you with like a put my phone down kind of love. Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah, that's great. and treating him that way ends up making me feel way more filled and way more rested and just being open and sensitive to like, it's not always going to be this morning time that I blocked out to spend with you. It might right. be inconvenient because relationships are often inconvenient. Right. Yeah. They don't show up at the right time. I might have something to do, but if Camila walks in the house, I'm going to stop and talk to him even if yeah. I'm in the middle of something. Mm -hmm. And so I think like switching our brains to think of God as a person like yeah, that, like great, I'll, yeah. I'll stop and put this down to talk to you for a minute mm -hmm. actually ends up filling me up like on a regular basis. That's really good. That's good. Yeah, I that would just awesome. add, um, which is almost the antithesis of not the antithesis, but what you were saying about, it might not always be this slated time that I block off with, you know, peaceful music at 7.00 AM. But I know for me, like, it's very easy. I feel like we're both kind of like this, or I find this in our rhythm a lot. It's so easy to just slide straight into your day and already be off to the races. Um, Convict me, Michael. Convict <laughs> me more. Convict him. It's just so easy yeah. because, uh, you know, our minds are always active and there is always stuff to do. And I don't yeah. think having stuff to do or pressing things is bad. Right. It doesn't mean just like discarding the things that are pressing you in life. I think it just means reframing your mindset of understanding not only should I in reverence but also to my benefit yeah. Yeah. if I start my mm -hmm. my grind or if I start my day as slow as possible postured towards God that's only going to benefit what I'm able to process right uh, and sometimes we do need to like actually have a motivator to say if I want to be successful if I want to carry yeah. this stuff well this will only benefit that so yeah. God let me lay this at your feet from the jump yeah, yeah. Uh, and help me reframe the rest of my day. It's so it's great. I love it. Four culture convos in. Come on. Four summer in the cities. Let's go. About to kick the off. The room is, is full. It's bumping. So it is let's bumping. Let's go ahead and, bumping, bumping. and get started. Here we Night go. Four. Let's Night do four. it. Let's, go. let's do it.